Alright guys, so let's start this episode by quickly looking into what we have. So first of all we have received one of these cool leather jackets from a drop. We're also gonna craft it right now just to gain a little bit of armor because that's very needed actually. Right? In the early game you need to take advantage of everything that you get for free. Uh, so this is going to be just fine next to our ink uh, little closing thief. So now we have a little bit of stuff, but we definitely want to have more, right? So we gain a lot of resources from the beach itself. But now it's time to outgrow this uh, this little beach here. So what we want to do is we want to work a little bit on our raft and start uh, uh, making it a little bit better. We're actually gonna try to make it a little bit of a home away for home, if you will, because we need this to not only travel, uh, to the sea with it, but we also need it uh, to use it as a taming pen, but also to use it as a home, right? As a base, operational base. So the best way to survive and to actually evolve in Ark is to uh, use rafts. Okay, so now I'm going to show you really, really quickly how you can. Uh, build on top of a raft, uh, raft so you can actually use the raft and uh, be able to navigate with it and also build a lot of cool stuff on top of that raft, right? So we're gonna start with uh, a couple of uh, thatch foundations just to set everything in. I'm sure you've seen this tutorial a hundred times if you're an ARC fan, but uh, just to let you know that some things have changed, you no longer can trick the system 100% so we need to be smart about it and to create some latch points right to attach uh, different structures that we want to build and the raft still be functional right so first of all we're gonna try to make it as uh, we usually would have done it right in the past uh, that little uh, thing to be a little bit outside of the raft and now we're gonna use this uh, pylon, this wooden pylon here to, to be our attachment point. But as you can see, they've changed this in, in, in the rafting system, right, in ARC. You no longer uh, can create attachment points like this. So we're just gonna tweak it just a little bit. We're gonna destroy uh, these two elements and create some two, some new ones, if you will, because we cannot recover them, we are on hardcore. And we're just gonna attach them to the raft a little bit different all right so let me just pet my little friend there just a little bit i'm going to create uh, again one of those uh, wooden foundations and one of those pylons all right just to have them on me and then we're going to move to the raft again <coughs> sorry this call doesn't let up apparently all right so we're gonna again use the uh, wooden foundation but this time inside the raft and not outside it as we would have done it in the past all right so so now the latching point the attachment point for this uh, pillar is going to be on top of it just in front of it basically you're, you're you're just placing it there so you now as you can see have the ability just like in the past to create these foundations around the raft all right and to be at basic pretty much at the same level at the, the raft floor not on top of it right so by do by just doing this little small trick just moving it a little bit uh, from what you're used to do right here so now you have a portion here of the raft that is still basically active you can still target it so you can travel with it navigate with it right so now we're gonna take some resources up and let's see we're gonna start creating uh, basically, we still need to do these quests in the proper order so we can actually uh, get the experience that we need, right, to progress further the level 22. And that's gonna be hard if we do not construct anything. So we have to construct on top of the raft everything that we need, uh, like you see there, to pass the build house foundation uh, quest and the second little Fiomia quest, right? So now what we are doing, we are placing this. Uh, 
they pretty much this uh, all these touch elements just to have an overview where we will need to build or you know so yeah okay we are placing that just so we know that we'll we have one extra outside of the raft right and now we're gonna go and start placing first of all the four connected wooden foundations all right you can connect them any way you want uh, basically the game doesn't tell you that you need to put them in a square or something like that so i just place them where i think i need them originally i'm just checking again just to make sure that by some reason i can still uh, use this you know and now i'm just gonna use the um, the door the wooden door to complete the first part of the quest all right i'm gonna place it here, there but uh, this is going to get replaced and you'll see why because it's gonna be very inconvenient to use the door where it is right now okay so now we need to create based on the quest obviously six walls that not necessarily need to be connected to anything or to the floors that you just put in there but you need to create six uh, wooden walls and just place them on a structure and that's gonna get you the next step of the quest all right so we're gonna do this really really fast I have six of them and now I also need a roofing right so you need uh, if I remember correctly four roofs to be created and then placed on your structure okay so with this we're gonna go back to our raft and jump on it for the time being we don't have any wooden ramps placed on the raft we're gonna do that after we modify the raft a little bit now we're just using the raft just to complete the second little Fiomia quest and we're looking to see hey can I still use all the structures here does the raft shows me that I cannot so apparently yes I do yes I can so I'm gonna place this uh, wooden walls in the beginning just the way i feel that i need them the most all right just to give me a little bit of protection around everything so now i'm trying something i shouldn't okay because it's not going to work that uh, wooden uh, floor is, is not going to work in that place i am actually not going to be able to use the raft anymore but uh, you know we have to try stuff so do not place anything in that spot where you're supposed to uh, grab the rudder of the of the raft right so I'm, I'm checking again and initially it seems that i can use it i can work it uh, so i said to myself hey that's great it means more protection to my raft it's fine but you will see after we start uh, working with stone uh, unfortunately it's not gonna work anymore so we have to rethink the design basically right so uh, right now i think I'm, I'm just getting into some engrams which i will need like stone wall stone foundation and stuff like that i'm at level 24 so i need those okay i just need to learn those engrams really fast so just that i can uh, make the quest the third little build yeah okay i'm just going to eat something of course and drink water and stuff like that so i don't lose any health while i am building stuff this is something that you need to do right I'm looking for the quest, the little film, yeah? And now I'm going to go probably grab my materials, construction materials, right? Just to create those uh, elements so I can make this work, right? So, uh, st stone foundations, you need four of them. Of course, you're gonna need six walls, just like before. Uh, four floors, uh, one wooden, uh, one uh, reinforced door and one... Uh, of those doors uh, what you call them place where you put the door I, I forget always I forget how that's called right? so now that I have all the elements that I needed and uh, pretty soon they are going to be built in my inventory um, I'm going to be able to go and place them hopefully I can do that in a one run uh, because weight is still a problem I'm still a pretty much low level so I have to get rid of stuff from my inventory just to be able to transport of these uh, building elements that I'm going to need, okay? I'm also placing a little bit more in my weight limit there. And now, taking a look at, at how uh, the raft looks, it seems to me that I can build uh, and replace basically thatch and wood with stone, which is the next thing that we want to do, right? 
so I'm uh, pretty much replacing everything that I can from wood and thatch to stone. This is the next logical thing that you need to do. So now I have to place the uh, stone walls. They have to be uh, stone walls. You cannot use anything else, although in the future we will redesign the raft using something else, something better in my opinion. All right, that's going to be more useful to us for taming creatures and stuff like that. All right, now I'm placing all that uh, ceilings, right? Okay. I'm uh, one-upping my uh, HP, my life essence there, <laughs> basically. So, um, after that, I'm looking to see if I completed that quest, and I did. And I'm gonna pick just uh, something else. Uh, 200 Raptors, I'm going to need this uh, metal pike to learn the engram. This is the next thing that we're gonna do. We are going to harvest as much metal as we can. I also need the spyglass. But also, I will need some other stuff which I am going to try to learn using the engram points that I have gained past two or three levels. All right. So very important, uh, stay on top of your engram game. Always look at things that you need immediately right there, like a metal pick, a metal hatchet, and stuff like that, because you're going to need it. And that's the pike. Okay. I need the pike. Uh, it's extremely necessary for me to go and uh, hunt raptors. So, now that we have this uh, half-built raft, we're gonna use pretty much all the uh, resources that we still have there, and we're gonna try to uh, build, first of all, a forge. We're gonna need a forge to be able to uh, smelt uh, iron ingots uh, with all the metal that we're gonna get from uh, the, those beach rocks and some uh, metal ore uh, that we're gonna find later on this series okay also we are going to need later on uh, a smithy to build more advanced gear and now i'm just uh, gonna place my first forge on top of my raft and hopefully i still have some materials here that i can go and build a little bit more of the raft while I'm also harvesting more metal so I can get the metal ingots that I need in the beginning of the game to craft me a smithy and of course that metal pike to help me complete the hunt the raptor quest which is going to give me one or two levels because it's a pretty important one it's a pretty big one now I just placed some more stone foundations and if you take a look after placing those stone foundations I can no longer navigate the why? Because stone foundations are denser than the wooden ones. So I do no longer have that gap in between the builds. I am going to tame this Porosaur right here because it's level 85. And I really need the herbivore dinosaur to be able to uh, get more uh, berries than I can get by my own with my own character all right so i've tamed this uh, little parser and obviously the name to give it is going to be john the horse obviously i mean i i don't know any other name for the parser this is what i'm using usually in my playthroughs right. so now i'm building uh, some more of these uh, uh, narcotics i'm taking some of the narcotics with me right? and uh, obviously i'm going to create more um, more arrows, more trank arrows. Uh, I'm also trying to move the parser a little bit uh, closer to my little group there. This is a risky thing to do and I'm doing it because uh, some of my creatures went into the water by themselves. This happens in Ark a lot. You really need to be careful where you place the group of tamed creatures. Uh, you're gonna lose a lot of them. And this is risky because these little things, uh, these uh, jellyfishes can kill you pretty fast in the beginning of the game uh, because they give you torpidity and that torpor pretty much you're going to faint and they're going to slowly kill you. They don't give a lot of damage but because they are able to put you to sleep that's going to be very hard. So uh, these were my little creatures that they killed. I think I had two extra, extra dilos there. Uh, that somehow ended up in the water. I don't know how this happens. This happens a lot in Ark, as I said, especially on mobile. Uh, so now I'm trying to basically collect what they had on in their in inventories. And 
just gonna redistribute everything to the rest of the tapes that I still have. So, uh, for example, my uh, uh, moss chaps, I think that's the name of that tame, of that uh, creature. It's right now being uh, electrocuted to death by those jellyfishes in the water in front of my chest. If you take a look where the engram uh, thing is, I didn't know he was there. I was actually very uh, casually just uh, strolling to my inventory. And when I'll take a look in just a minute, I'm going to see that my Moshaps is going to be dead. Basically, the game's going to tell me that uh, it's going to tell me that my Moshaps died. Uh, a pretty decent creature, actually, as you can see there. So now it's dead, and I can't do anything. I just just waiting for them to come to me, so I can kill them, and after that I can go and recover uh, the inventory of the creature. Right, so. That sucks, but it's something, as I said, that happens a lot in Arc Mobile, at least. Alright, so I placed all the meat that I had in my uh, PT, because he's the only carnivore that I really care for at this point. Uh, the little dillos are there just, uh, you know, uh, to have them tamed, uh, they're pretty much useless. Right now I can't really do anything with two dillos. Uh, now I'm trying to construct more of my raft. It's very useful, so I need more ceilings, first of all, just to get a little bit protection from uh, outside creatures, all right? So I can uh, cover myself inside the raft. So I'm gonna place uh, ceilings. I'm not gonna make it uh, uh, two stories high. I'm just gonna make it one story high, just so I can have the resources uh, available to me. In Arc Mobile, uh, you cannot uh, modify too much how the... Uh, gathering <coughs> how the resource gathering works like in a, a desktop arc right so this is the point where i noticed that i can no longer use my <laughs> my little raft so i'm just going to get rid of that ceiling that is there and i'm creating this type of walls these are those door thingies right in my opinion, these are better for traps and uh, for every anything else that you want to use them for. So, take a look how I'm placing them. This is going to be our first trap in the game. A mobile trap. Because we're playing Arc Mobile, right? So, it's going to be sto two stories high. So, I can uh, catch uh, small and uh, medium-sized creatures. Although, for some reason, uh, in one, one of this episode, I'm going to try to capture a, a medium-sized creature and I'm going to fail with this, uh, which is very weird because it, it used to work in the past. But in any case, so I constructed a parcel sa saddle. I'm just going to ride join the, join the horse until I get something better. I need a tame. I need a tame that can actually uh, harvest for me a lot of the berries that I'm going to need, narco berries, so I can create uh, more narcotics. The little parasaur doesn't have a lot of weight limit right moment, this moment, so I'm just gathering whatever I can. <coughs> it's very hard in Arc Mobile to use the parasaur to actually harvest narcotics or any kind of berries, because um, it has a very weird uh, hitbox on it uh, and you don't really see well, very well the, uh, the bushes in front of you, right? So you have to be very, very careful. Uh, but it's better, I would say, than harvesting by hand. So that's why I'm still... Uh, each time I play Arc Mobile, a new game, I'm going to use a parasaur just to start off, uh, you know, the narcotics game, basically. I'm going to do this for a while. Now I'm going to run to that uh, drop because it's uh, very important for me to, to get uh, stuff. I need stuff. Uh, this is the way you get stuff for free. Not a very good drop. Um, it's basically a uh, farming system that I do not need. I am going to try to use it, however, because I received it and you always get experience if you place 
right structures and everything that you have in your inventory uh, constructed for you i'm gonna sleep again sleep helps you again uh, to gain experience but also to pass the passage of time it's very important in this game a couple of levels here for my pt which i'm going to use pretty soon i'm almost there i almost have the level that i will be able to use the parasol all right so now i'm going to collect all the droppings from my uh, thames with a lot of touch and i'm going to try to create some uh, fertilizer this is how you use the fertilizer box the composting box right right now we're gonna just uh, add some uh, more metal that i found there not a lot but uh, you know for the beginning it's uh, fine it's just what we need uh we're gonna try to place uh, these little uh, small crops right into the water this is a little trick that i used to do last and worked to a certain extent so this way when it's raining uh, the boxes are simply gonna get uh, filled with water you do not have to water them by hand or by any system that you might want to develop right so you only need in this way you used to only need uh, only the roots for narco berries and a little dropping or fertilizer and the water is gonna come by itself now I'm just trying to place the, those pipes as well because I just received them I'm not very good or a big fan of using pipes in Arc Mobile. It's very hard to place them in the right position that you want. You'll see I'm, I'm, I'm just failed miserably here. I'm just gonna try again and after that I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It could have been fun to have some water, <laughs> an automatic watering system there, but honestly I didn't research it before. I just tried it myself and this is what I got. I said, you know what? Just leave it like that. It's cool. It, it looks cool. Uh, I'm not going to farm too much here. And you'll see in the future videos why you don't necessarily need to farm in this game, right? So now um, I'm able to build my smithy, which I'm going to do as fast as I can. The smithy will allow me to build more complex stuff, more advanced stuff. We're going to need to need a crossbow. We're going to need a pike. Very, sh very short. Uh, in, very, in a very short time you're going to have to uh, construct a long neck and bullets and all that good stuff and those can be only constructed with, uh, with or at the smithy right so now I'm going to place the smithy uh, as close as I can to the forge so I can quickly move metal from the forge to the smithy it's important metal is pretty heavy and you obviously cannot use thames inside the boat so you have to have these two elements close together so you can quickly transport things in between them right so now i'm just going to pretty much move everything that i can everything that i have i'm just going to move to the smithy because the smithy has 223 slots available uh, for you to utilize um, you, you're basically, you basically do not need any storage boxes in the beginning of the game if you, if you have a smith. Right? So this is one of the best things you can have, pretty much. Right? Gonna move uh, everything that I still have in this uh, chest to the smithy. And here I'm making a mistake. I cannot reach, for the love of me, the, <laughs> the inside of the boat when I'm uh, overweighted. And moving the, uh, the next stuff that I have just checking again what do I still have here I have some fiber that I might use moving the fiber inside there um, I am going to need a lot of resources because I am pretty much out of anything that I need I have also created another mortar and pistol so I can actually create more narco berries directly on the boat uh, not narco berries sorry narcotics um, I've created myself a uh, metal pickaxe and uh, yeah, metal hatchet. These are going to make everything go run smoothly, if you will. I've learned the uh, a couple of more engrams that I'm going to need, including, I do believe I'm learning the crossbow right now, yeah. I have the stone dinosaur gateway and reinforced door. Uh, 
I'm looking around to see what else I can use. I'm level 31. I should be able to start creating a couple of things here, right? So, a couple of ramps are what you need in the beginning to be able to get on board and uh, outside of the raft pretty quickly. And this is usually the way I do it. I placed one here and one on the other side, but for some reason I cannot do it. Uh, and I want to sure I, I'm going to be able to do it while I'm at sea. Okay, so this is pretty weird. As you can see, it, it, it works on this side, just because I'm a little bit on the sea, on the water, right? So I've created two ramps. Uh, I'm going to create two more. And obviously we are going to need, after we create these two ramps, we are going to need to complete the trap. Extremely important, right? To have the trap completed. The ramp there. Because uh, we need to get something better than John the Horse to be able to get more narco berries, right? So you'll see what I'm going to do. Right now I'm searching the pretty much all around the beach uh, to get the resources because I pretty much spent all my resources just to construct what, you, what you've seen right now. So I'm getting resources from all over the place. Uh, these rocks here, uh, river rocks, these actually contain some metal for you to start your metal game, which is very important in the beginning. Just harvest these. Uh, if you're playing on hardcore, they will regenerate. Uh, this is way important. So now I have the uh, trike saddle. Um, we've reached the point where we can actually tame something a little bit uh, bigger. And a trike is the perfect thing that you need to actually progress in this game. Uh, trike is going to help you to get more dark berries. It's going to help protect you, defend you against uh, small and medium size uh, carnivores and obviously you're going to be able to carry more by using a trike. So after getting a bunch of these resources here so I can just uh, construct the uh, rear side of the trap, I'm probably going to get or try to get a trike, let's say. So this is what we want to do, right? So let's see, we actually gathered a lot of resources as you can see, uh, we didn't stay idle, not at all. We are now creating a uh, crossbow and a metal pike, very important for our game development to do this right now. And let's see, so uh, we need the bolas because this is the quest, we need to create 8 bolas, but at this point I would stay away from bolas because they are no longer that useful. You still have, in, in, in this middle game gameplay, you still have use for them, but not right now. So for me to create this bolas here was kind of, uh, you know, I lost some resources, if you will. But I'm doing it because I'm going to gain experience from the quest, from the Hunt the Raptor quest, okay? And this is one of the parts of the quest that I need to complete. Now I'm gonna e equip those bolas, those eight bolas. Actually, made ten because I already had two, but I didn't see that I had two. All right, so I'm gonna fix my hatchet. Uh, metal hatchets can only be fixed inside the smithy. Remember, this is very important. And then now I'm going to um, uh, pretty much make the the back of the trap, right? So I'm going to use one of these stone dino gates and one of the Dino Reinforced Gates and I'm just gonna place them on my raft uh, this I think it's the biggest structure that you can place on a raft you cannot put... Uh, what was it? Uh, colossal Gates, I think they are called so those... Mm -mm, those are not working on a boat, on a raft but this works just fine so it's perfect for us because we are going to be able to lure the creatures to those with the wooden ramps uh, tame them inside the raft and after we tame them we can actually let them go by this uh, door in the end so everything seems to be in place 
and we're just looking to see if we can learn any new engrams that we might need. For the time being, we're not seeing anything that uh, we might need. We're just strolling around in there. Stone window frames are going to be useful for us to be able to pretty much uh, create our, our home on top of this raft, right? Uh, they are cheaper uh, than uh, regular uh, stone walls and they also give you the possibility to actually aim and shoot a crossbow through uh, the little opening, the, door, the window frame, right? So pretty useful. Uh, I would recommend you use those because they are cheaper and let's face it, you don't want to spend a lot of time gathering stone. It's pro probably one of the worst game experience you can have in Ark. Uh, and as you can see, I'm just making a rudimentary box uh, made out of these uh, window frames, stone window frames. But it's gonna be really, really good uh, for us just to do it like this. Right? So a little bit more to go and I can also on top of this I can also and you're gonna see that I'm gonna be able to build a second floor but just to uh, keep something very precious to us in this middle uh, gameplay all right I'm just looking for what things I can do and now I'm doing it right I've just created a bunch of this uh, stone door frames useful for us just to construct like a secondary floor you will see in the next episode what I'm using them for I'm also going to need let's see what I'm going to need ah, actually no for the time being I don't need anything now now I'm just killing all the triceratops that are too small a level for me to care about them I need to uh, you know, uh, I sort of have to respawn and to get uh, bigger levels. Okay, now I've uh, completed my little home on this boat. I'm just placing the last uh, fillings. I'm, uh, I'm gonna place a wall here. Alright, I'm gonna leave it like that for the time being. looking pretty good right I just need to place one more uh, wall on the outside of the boat okay I have uh, 66 uh, and 66 ingots in in that forge and also uh, I can now start making a little bit of uh, spark powder and after that gunpowder just to get things going on that uh, level as well uh, you see, this is a little bit of annoying because it's uh, the levels are not equal inside this uh, this house, and that's because you can no longer put foundations uh, all over the place. But we'll have to do with this. So with this, I'm closing this episode. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned how to create this type of raft. So bye, and see you next time.